Okay, today we're going to set up the Fire TV and set up Q Pro on the Fire TV. So, first thing is plug in your Fire Stick into the back of your TV and go follow all the prompts that it'll take you through to set up your Fire Stick. Once you do that, then we'll set up the Q Pro. Okay, once you have your Fire Stick set up and they ask you for all the streaming services, we're not going to do that yet. Uh, no parental controls. Now we've got everything. Okay. Next, we're going to go in here to settings. My Fire TV. Then we hit about. And then we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now we're in developer mode. Now we go into search. Go right here, downloader app. Download it. Got to make sure you allow, hit OK, then we go up here and type in, we type in You can see up in the left hand corner it says QTV Pro instead of Q2. Okay, so I downloaded uh, Q Pro and it's like, well, how do I find it now? So I go into Find, Search, go into Downloader again. Once you're in Downloader, go over to Files. Oops, go into Downloader, go to Files. And then you can see it has Q Pack, Q1 APK, and Q APK. So this one was done. So I, I guess I didn't finish installing it. So then I had to hit open instead of hitting done. So hit open instead of done, and then you'll go in and do your username and password like you've done, but you don't have to do 001 this time for the developer code or whatever that code was, 001. It's just your username and password, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And hit allow. Already you can tell it's different from the first one. Uh, I see at the top it says live TV, VOD completed, series completed, and guide is waiting. So it's just downloading the guide for now. So the steps that you take are exactly the same as the others. Um, it's kind of nice that all of these channels come up like this alphabetically. And it looks like you could go over here to the side and you have live, live TV, movies, TV shows, um, catch up, don't know what that is yet, radio, accounts, settings, and exit. And then you have the home. And then you go up here and you can navigate over to news channels, kids and family, movie channels, music choice, sports channels, uh, ballet sports, all that is at the top. Instead of it being on the left hand side, it's at the top. And then if you go up even one more, you can get over to the TV guide. So we'll do that real quick. So it's really, I think, a little bit easier to find everything. And then I see that the, it looks a little bit different as far as the guide goes. You can see that everything's coming up correctly. Um, 
and it says what it is at the top with the name of the show. Um, you can go down here. And again, it has Sunday at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. You can keep going over to see what's coming up. I don't have um, any kind of memory attached to this fire stick. Um, but when I add that, I can show you guys how to do that. And uh, I'm going to play around with this for a little while and get to learn the controls. But this is how Q Pro is set up. Uh, it, it's easier and it's the same method as setting up all the other Q. If you've done it before, you can set up Q Pro, no problem. Um, what I did was I have two fire sticks. I have one with Q2 on it. This is in our bedroom. Um, I had a, a spare fire stick, so I went ahead and loaded Q Pro on it so I could play around with it. If I don't care for it as much as Q2, I'll switch back over to Q2. But for right now, I kind of like how this looks. It seems to be a little easier to read. Um, I'll look through the controls and see if there's a way of changing fonts or you know, seeing if there's any other shortcuts, things like that. But for right now, this is Q Pro and it, it, it's flying pretty good. I like it a lot. All right. Happy streaming, everyone.